Hi guys, Earl here from Fanboy SEO and today we are, this is a special vlog episode, we are going to attend a special press conference for WWE Live in Manila, this is for WWE Smackdown and I'm here at Marco Polo Hotel and we are going to go inside and check out the uh, press card and I'm going to insert a couple of scenes, a couple of uh, clips from the, from the entire segment so just stick around and let's see what what they can say. Um, by the way, I'm looking, I'm going to see uh, Kevin Owens and Ali back there, alright? It's there. My daughter, when she was you know, a couple months old or one or two, it didn't really, you know, it wasn't that big of a deal if I left. It, it would suck for me. But she was just, she had her mom, she needed her mom, and that's it. She was fine. And then I'd come home, she was happy to see me, but she wouldn't know, oh, I've been gone for a week, or he's been gone for three days. Now she's five, and she's very vocal about not, not, like, not wanting me to leave, and she knows, notices it a lot more. So it's actually hard. But also, they, you know, she understands what I do and she enjoys it. It's just, uh, I guess she wishes I didn't have to go away for it. But that's a very natural feeling. And it's just part of uh, the price to pay to do it. But, you know, it's all in the hopes of having a good future. And uh, if anything, if I do this for a couple more years or whatnot, I can hopefully just stay home, you know, from the time I'm whatever, 45 or 50, and just stay home. Started with WWE, I was just doing 205 Live and Rosemary. So she got accustomed to that. And that was just go with the computers and now it's security. So it's just this process, and um, like Kevin said, it's initially it was just me just messing up, but now you know I hear about it. <laughs> um, we're very yeah, lucky we have very supportive wives, and uh, without them, we wouldn't be able to do this. I understand. Uh, if you are to produce your own type of match, you know, other than Mari and Davang or Street Fight or Engage, what would your what would your type be? Well, I got a girl with my my stipulation match would be money in the bag, uh, but Brock loves me fast. I mean, I know you said no street fights, right? But that's what I love. I, I thrive in those. I thrive in those qualification matches or any kind of match where I get to use some hardware. Uh, I love it. So if I were, if it was up to me, that would be very cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. How they go? Oh, this is gonna be something. To be able to create that, that might be cool. Um, yeah, you know, there's rivalries. Uh, there's a lot of rivalries in wrestling. Right? There's really a lot of rivalries. With almost everybody. Roster, you know, but there's some that catch people's eyes or capture people's imagination more. And me and Sammy have always obviously been at this for six, 15 years now. It's, uh, you know what I mean? It's, it's cool to have that with them, those moments. Like, we'll talk, we'll be traveling all over the world together and we'll talk about wrestling in front of 23 people in my hometown in 2004, 2005, whatever it was. And then we'll remember moments like the first time we heard, oh, we're going to get to go to PWG in California and do this. And then, uh, you know, WrestleMania 32 being in the same room together and having that moment where we both picked up the ladder at the beginning of the match, looked at each other and having the crowd, like, rumble for that face-off. To us, we've been doing it for a decade. They're excited to see it. There's 100,000 people waiting not to see it. So it's it's really cool to have this legacy with somebody like that. You know what I mean? Like I said, every rivalry special, there's moments. There'll be moments in the ring that you'll remember with that specific person for, for years to come. Like 
Me and Roman had a, 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 a match in the Royal Rumble a couple of years ago. There's a moment in that match that we're still talking about it because, man, remember that? Like, oh, yeah, like every couple of months. But me and Sandy, we literally have, you know, almost a lifetime of, uh, we're not even done. That's the worst part. <laughs> Like now you're you're working with the main program supplies and how does like you know making any of the main of your outside group at life? I try to serve two or five months as much as possible. Kevin said earlier about how much talent I was on having two or five years and three very close friends there. It's a it's a different mentality because like I feel like I was in the trenches with those guys. Uh, 205 can put a very tough spot uh, to uh, uh, one of the competitors, Jack Gallagher, said it best. He said 205 Live is the opening act that goes on after the headline. So you come to see Metallica, and you see Metallica, and that's his unknown band. You know? So it's a very, very hard position to go out there and perform in front of a crowd that's already seen a two, three hour show. Um, and, you know, I, I use like WrestleMania weekend as an example of something about the like, Saturday takeover, and Sunday. Four hour WrestleMania, three hour Monday Night Raw, two hour Tuesday Night SmackDown, and then here comes <coughs> 205 Live. You know what I mean? And they still got it. They still somehow, in some way, they find a way to wake up this crowd. Um, I will put the main event of 205 Live every week up against anything that you see on the week. They just they go for it, man. And you can see it. They know that they're in a, in a tough spot that doesn't hold back. I'm a product of 205 Live, and I'll forever wait that way. So much love to everybody that's on that brand. And, you know, as a testament to the 205 guys' life, so you just talked about WrestleMania week. So this year, I didn't perform at WrestleMania, but I did SmackDown right after WrestleMania. So there's TakeOver, there was WrestleMania, there was all the access events, there was Raw, there was SmackDown. And then I remember being put in the dark match at the end of SmackDown, which basically meant I was closing out the entire WrestleMania week, like I was going to be the last thing on this man's scene. But before me was a 205 Live main event, which I believe was Buddy Murphy and Stone Wings. And I remember saying, I don't need to go out there at all. Like those people, that, that being the main, like the closing <laughs> ceremony of WrestleMania week would have been fine because they got a crowd that was really tired that had seen so many hours of great wrestling. And by the end of their match, everybody was on their feet. Everybody was still in the arena and everybody was rocking. So I was telling them, don't send me out there. They don't need to see me. It's fine. Just let them close it. And I had to go out there anyway, whatever. But like, that's a testament to those guys. And it could have been any of them. It could have been Buddy, anyone, Tony, and anyone. It could have been any of them. Uh, every week, they, they work so hard. They put on an amazing show. And, uh, you know, most of the wrestlers stay to watch because that's how good. And that's not something I can say over the last few years that I've seen very often. There's less and less people watching the show when they're down. Usually people take off the two or five left. It's the it's to do their thing and most people stay to watch them. That's that's it. Hi, Kevin. 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 Hi,
to go to the WMM network, you're able to access that. And um, you know, there's more than those matches that you'll see there. There's been, I've been watching them for so long. There's so many uh, memorable moments in the WMM matches. For Kevin, uh, will we ever see Shania Twain opening for you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, considering, considering I'm not a singer, probably not. But, uh, you know, she does owe me that. Uh, she does owe me performing when live next time she comes to Montreal. She, she gave me her word, and if I beat Ron Strowman, then I did. It was by getting hurled off the cage. So, <laughs> I won, and now I'm waiting for her to do it. So we'll see what happens. Thanks.